Okay, fight fans and fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. First up, usually I give out congratulations. However, I was expecting to give congratulations to none other than Montreal's newest fighter, Ryan Ford, who was fighting in Winnipeg. However, his opponent not only showed up 15 pounds overweight, but after Ryan's face-to-face -face at the weigh-ins, I believe scared the living bejesus out of him. And his opponent basically backed out of the fight entirely. Now, this is odd considering this guy has fought all kinds of fighters from here. Uh, he's a very well-known opponent. He's shown up overweight before, as memory serves me, but this was strictly unprofessional. And uh, as hard as Ryan works uh, in the ring and outside the ring... These are things that we can't control, and uh, it's just one of the sad parts of the game. Hopefully, with his new transition to here in Montreal, a more steady stream of professional fights will come his way. Now, there's word that he's already got a title shot lined up in Thailand, so stay tuned to Fight City. I am definitely going to stay tuned to Ryan Ford. Now, as far as what we got going on in the very near future, I've got some big news to talk about. In Philly, November 12th, a big card is going down. Not only is Toronto native fighter Sammy Vargas fighting none other than Danny Garcia for the WBC belt, but Montreal native and one of my favorites, one of the hardest working boxers I've ever seen, Jojo Dan is going to be stepping in the ring against Jarrett Hurt. Uh, this kid is tough. And this is from a fight cancellation. He was supposed to fight someone else, but the guy had some sort of medical reasons. Jojo got to step in. He's been out of the ring for a little bit now, and I know he's been chomping at the bit to get back to work. Jared Hurt is no easy task. Young, undefeated fighter, 18 fights, 12 knockouts. He is definitely a tall order for Jojo Dan, who's basically hasn't worked in almost a year. Now, uh, I got full faith in Jojo. Jojo is the real deal. He is on that upper echelon of fighters. He's fought the top tier guys. And uh, personally, I believe that his experience in the ring is going to play against Jared. Because uh, as great as his record is, I mean, if you look at it, yes, the last four fights he had ended in TKO. So he is a finisher fighter. He knows how to finish a fight. And he knows how to, you know, sink in the kill once he has it. However, you got to look at his opposition. And to date, I don't think he's met anyone of JoJo's caliber. JoJo's got that all day kind of work. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, raining, snowing, Beautiful outside, it doesn't matter. Jojo shows up exactly the same every time. You can set your watch to it. So, I personally think we're going to get one hell of a fight in Philadelphia. Quick mention, I'm also going to be trying very hard to go down there myself. I've already put in my application for accreditation, so if I get accredited, I'm going Philly will be a very cool trip, and Jojo Dan would be more than worth it. On a extra note to that fight, I just want to point out that Omar Douglas versus Javier Fortuna is also on that card. That is a tremendous fight. Both fighters, um, both big records. Honestly, just a terrific fight, a terrific night of fights. Man, I'm really hoping Sammy Vargas pulls off the upset and uh, Jojo Dan cements his place and his ranking as one of the top out there in his division. Now, as far as what we got going on this week... So we got plenty to watch this weekend. 
Like I previously mentioned, The Resurrection is Real, TKO MMA 36 Resurrection going down at La Tahu this Friday night. Crazy to think it's real. Main eventing that I want to point out, Chris Hordecki versus Derek Gote, Josh Hill versus Xavier Aloui. I've been talking about Xavier Aloui since the very beginning. Look into him. It's a solid card. I really wish this promotion nothing but good. I hope it takes off. This city could definitely use it. Good on TKO for actually coming through and making it happen. I was one of the skeptics, but it's going down next Friday. Also going down this Friday... From the Mohegan Sun, live on Spike and free on Spike, we've got Bellator, main event, Liam McGreary versus Phil Davis. This is seriously a solid fight. If you watch this Liam kid fight, it's fun. Paul Simtex Daily, been around since forever. Solid night of fights, big card, all free. Live and free on Spike TV. Next up, going down Saturday at 4 p.m. from Nice, France. You can catch it on the Fight Pass, possibly stream it. We've got Glory 35. It's a beautiful kickboxing event. Perfect thing to do on a Saturday afternoon. Also going down Saturday night, UFC Fight Night 89 from Mexico. Dos Anjos versus Ferguson plus the Ultimate Fighter Latin Finale. It's a stacked card. It's the UFC. You know what's up. You're used to this now. Listen, Diego the Nightmare Sanchez is back. Ricardo Lamas, not the Lamas you guys are probably thinking of, but Ricardo Lamas. So Daniels versus Ferguson's a solid fight. Other Clark. Let's see who else is on here. Sam Smiling Ivy's on the early prelims. That's a gimme fight. Everyone wants to watch that. Listen, Saturday night, UFC. And if not, last but not least, not a lot of people talking about it. Saturday night, Top Rank presents the WBO welterweight title on the line, Pacquiao versus Vargas. Solid undercard, you gotta hand it to them. Zhu Shiming is fighting, Oscar Valdez is fighting, Nonito Donaire versus Jesse Maldonado. Finally, Manny Pacquiao versus Jesse Vargas. I mean, not a lot of people are talking about it, not a lot of people are excited about it. It's a chance to watch the great Manny Pacquiao fight. Is at any moment going to retire, I guess. There's not much left for him to accomplish in this game. He's fighting for himself. He's got a whole nother job. I mean, watch it while it's still around, folks. Watch it while it's still around. That's my strong suggestion. That's it for me this week. Make sure you tune in to the fightcity.com. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next week.